they need to find maximum value of f of x f of x itself is defined as the minimum of minus of x minus 1 whole square plus 2 comma x minus 2 whole square plus 1 first up let's find out when would f of x be this and when will f of x be this when will f of x be this term when will f of x be this term or we are solving for minus of x minus 1 whole square plus 2 less than x minus 2 whole square plus 1 wherever this is satisfied the first term will be the minimum wherever it is not satisfied the second term will be the minimum right? let's expand this minus of x square minus 2x plus 1 plus 2 less than x square minus 4x plus 4 plus 1 this is minus x square plus 2x minus 1 plus 2 plus 1 less than x square minus 4x plus 5 bring everything to one side 2x square minus 6x plus 4 0 is less than this or x square minus 3x plus 2 this is greater than 0. I simplify this x minus 1 into x minus 2 is greater than 0. It's a very simple inequality to solve should know the answer straight away whenever you are given a quadratic expression of the form x minus a into x minus b then it is negative when x lies between the roots positive when x lies outside the roots this holds good when x is less than 1 or x is greater than 2 okay. now i'm going to define this function differently in three ranges so the f of x that we are looking for when x is less than 1 this is minus of x minus 1 whole square plus 2 when x lies between 1 and 2 this is x minus 2 whole square plus 1 I'll just check this that is indeed the case x minus 2 whole square plus 1 okay. when x is greater than 2 it is again minus of x minus 1 whole square plus 2 okay. now let's keep this simple let's solve for when will each of this be minimum right if you look at this this expression minus of x minus 1 whole square plus 2 this is a square the square cannot be negative so, so, so minus of x minus 1 whole square will always be negative so the minimum value that can take will derive the drive the maximum value for f of x or the maximum value possible for f of x is when x is equal to 1 in which case f of x will be equal to 2 so this expression cannot be more than 2 that much we know so the maximum val possible value of f of x is 2 that is achieved when x is 1 now for this expression we have achieved that found out what the expression is what the maximum value is x maximum value is 2 now let us go to this range 1 less than x less than 2 it is x minus 2 whole square plus 1 x minus 2 the higher this modulus is the higher the square will be x minus 2 will be maximum the magnitude will be maximum when x is 1 this is 1 minus 2 the whole square plus 1 or 1 plus 1 this is also 2 or the overall maximum possible will be when when x equal to 1 and maximum value of f of x is equal to 2. maximum possible value of f of x is 2 that will happen when x is equal to 1 okay. there's another far simpler more mechanical way of solving it i'm going to explain that but this is a better method understand why this method is correct and then look at that expression been given two expressions minus of x minus 1 whole square plus 2 x minus 2 whole square plus 1 i'm going to write these two down minus of x minus 1 whole square plus 2 and x minus 2 whole square plus 1 equate these two find when they are equal or minus of x square minus 2x plus 1 plus 2 equals x square minus 4x plus 4 plus 1 this will finally simplify to the same x minus 1 into x minus 2 equal to 0 x is 1 or x is 2 substitute 1 and 2 whichever is the maximum value that is your answer one of the two will be higher these two are the points of intersection of these two curves these give us two curves at one point the curve the, the lesser of the two curves will this these two points of intersection breaks our curve into three parts in two extremes the numbers will be lesser bang in the middle one number will be higher than the other number 
we are select remember we are selecting minimum of the two functions so it will so turn out that one of the two meeting points will be the maximum of this function so find the two meeting points find the two values whichever works for you you're done after that right? the, the first method is better the second method is a quick shortcut to just get to the answer not really worry about how we got to the answer